What's going on? This is Adam Soul Wars Song. You're my fighter Luis. I'm at Ring Lords Volley Tudo in Cary, North Carolina. We're just working some geese stuff. I wanted to take advantage of the heat outside and get a good sweat going on for us. So we we're working on some spider guard attacks and passes. I really know a few different ways to pass a spider guard, but there's two main ones that I use all the time. Uh, they work well for me, so I'd like to see if they work well for you. Okay. First one is from the knees. Okay, say I'm here. Boom. And I posture up. He's got both one foot here, one foot here, his waist, yeah, right there on the biceps, right there, okay? Now, usually he's going to be either straightening one and bending the other and trying to turn me, break my balance and look for his sweeps, okay? So what I want to do here, I always want a point of control, so I'm going to control his pants as well, okay? Now, I always want to attack with the arm, for someone came out base down, and I want to attack with the arm that is on the shorter leg. This is the long leg, this is the short leg. And what I want to do is I want to do a shoulder roll, and bring my elbow on the inside. Okay. Same, the second thing I want to do, I want to do the same thing on this side. I want to do a short roll and keep it on the inside. Now on the leg that's lower, which happens to be this one, I want to pin it to the ground, keeping it pinned, never letting go. It doesn't matter if he's still whipping me or not. Okay. With this arm, I let go. I switch to his collar and get my whole body underneath the side. Walk until I pass. Okay. One more time. I'm here, I posture, he switches to open guard to spider guard. Okay, it's going one way or the other. I control the lower arm first, and the other arm. Now this time this leg is down. I pin this leg to the ground. If I don't keep control of this pant leg and I just start going, look, he's got a triangle. I'll do the one. So I want to keep all my weight here. And with this leg, if he's still gripping me here, I can always wrist roll out and grab his collar. I want to grab his collar here. I don't want to just try to throw his leg out to the side. Grab the collar, snack, walk, look, and I pass. Okay, now, it's very, very fashionable nowadays to use a spider guard against a standing opponent. And this is really good because he has triangles and sweeps and omoplatas and all that good stuff in here. So, a really easy way that I like to do this, first I want to kind of keep my base down so I don't get knocked over so easy. I'm going to take the shorter leg, which it happens to be this one, is I'm going to step it, okay? Might not break this grip, but it's okay because I took the leg out of the equation. Now, with my two free hands, it doesn't matter if he's gripping me, I want to grip his leg, bump it off, put it in my back pocket for a leg drag. From here, I want to keep my weight down, depending if he wants to give me his back, I can move around and take his back, or he might try to regard and I wind up inside control. One time. Here, boom, boom, he's fighting. Step off the leg, grab, leg drag, knee down. Make sure this knee pins the other leg down so he can't regard me. And ground and take his back. So, train your gym today, make it work for you.